So how to recover a disabled ad account? So in today's video, I will list out some of the reasons why your ad account might get disabled and how exactly should you resolve it. So the first thing that we want to do is to go to facebook.com slash account quality. This is essentially the place that you can see all the problems of your account. In the past, it was called account quality, but now it's like account health or business support center. They keep changing the names all the time, but just make sure you go to facebook.com slash account quality. Now, another quick thing that I wanted to mention is that some of my clients tell me that they get those sketchy messages of their page is going to be deleted or something like that, that they are kind of getting a message from Facebook support and they think there is a problem with their ads manager or Facebook page. And there's a huge scam going on that people try to steal information from others. So if you have any issue with your account, this is where you actually check it. Facebook will never send you a messenger message or something like that saying that there is an issue with your asset. You'll probably get it notification or again just go to this place over here which is your account quality all right so if you're using a personal ad account so you will be able to see the problem just right here but if you use a business manager ad account then what you need to do is click here on view my accounts and then it will list out all of the accounts that are associated with this profile and then simply select the right business manager and over here you will see the list of all the accounts that have issues so the first problem that we have and this is probably the most common is that your ad account is getting restricted the first reason it might happen will be ad rejection so maybe your ads got rejected too many times and then you got your ad account disabled another thing might happen is let's say if you haven't used your ads manager for three four months maybe six months and then all of a sudden you decide that you want to get back to running facebook ads then facebook recognizes it as something risky and what they want to do is to verify that this is actually you trying to set up a campaign and not someone else just hacked your account and tried to use your ads manager so in that case what you want to do is you simply want to click on this button over here i'm not able to click this button because i'm not an admin of this ad account but in your case you will be able to click this button and then you will see a small pop-up where facebook asks you why do you want to appeal their decision and you simply select always the first option which you are not sure which policies you have violated facebook also might ask you to submit your id so just go ahead and upload your id to go ahead and verify your identity the second disabled option that we have is disabled because you haven't paid a bill for facebook ads a lot of times my clients just getting confused with the billing system of facebook and sometimes they have declined payments so in this case all you have to do is just go again to this page over here and click on pay it will take you to the payment page on facebook where you simply need to update your payment information or simply just go ahead and pay your bill now what if you try to submit an appeal but it's just just stuck in this stage for so long or you were just not able to get the ads manager back then what i can advise you to do is to add someone else as admin that has a strong profile to your ads manager and let them submit a new appeal so if you submitted an appeal from your profile you will not be able to submit a new one so this way you'll be able to try again submitting an appeal without giving up on this ad account now the last thing that i want to address is let's say you have a permanent restricted ads manager in this case you will not be able to get it back but what i can suggest you is either use your personal profile ads manager so each profile on facebook has a dedicated personal ads manager and most likely these accounts are not getting restricted so as you can see this is an ad account of a business manager so it says business portfolio and then ad account so i know this is not a personal one so all i have to do is just to use the personal ads manager and i'll be good to go in case this is your personal ad account that got restricted then it's most likely that your entire profile got permanently restricted so i have a full video about it that explains this problem and how to solve it and one last thing that you can do if your ads manager got permanently restricted is you can create a new business manager so let's say this ad account is permanently restricted i cannot get this ads manager to get reinstated so what i can do is i can create a new business manager and then set up a new ad account i do suggest to have backups so when you create a new business manager each business manager has a max limit of ad accounts that you can create under this business manager so make sure you always max out this limit so if your limit currently is one or three so make sure you max it out and with time when you spend more money with facebook ads and your account gets more seasoned facebook will increase this limit usually to five and then simply go ahead and create those five ad accounts so if something happens to one of them you can still use the others and the main reason why i want to do it is that when one of your ads 
managers get restricted, then Facebook doesn't allow you to create new ads managers. So you can only create new ads managers when you don't have any restrictions on your business manager or ad account. So make sure you first back up everything that you have so you'll not end up in this problem in the future. All right, so if you would like to learn how to give access as an admin or employee to your ads manager, or if your Facebook personal profile got permanently restricted, then make sure to watch these videos next.